go. Hey, Wolves, what up? Uh, yeah, I don't What's know. What's it like being on the shitstorm? You've uh, been here before. I don't fucking September 21st. All right. That Matt said this it's game has religious here. upsetting it's things. The name is Faith, so yeah. So I guess I so have to So you sit have to here. do it. It has to be you. Matt picks me for the games that'll bug me. Yeah. Well, he picks me for the games that'll bug me, which is all of them. Wow, we're getting in there right now, huh? Oh, that little white square pixel is uh, his uh, priest's collar. Ah, I guess it is. That's a lowercase t. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. It's all Latin. Yeah, so until I you highlight it. I checked the instructions. The instructions are very easy. Move with the analog stick or the D-pad, or hit A to banish demons Just with your Jesus. Be on the river. Oh boy. Oh boy. To oh god. The cross. I will walk before to the Lord the in the cross. land of the living, says Psalms 116.9. Hey, Wolves, you'd know this. What's the what's the deal? Yeah, you gotta walk into the pixel perfect. There you go. What is the deal with the uh, notation on Psalms? River. What notation? Like why? What is one sixteen and what is nine? Uh, verse uh, chapter one sixteen, verse nine. Okay. You're doing it. All right. Well. No, keep doing it. Oh, okay. I tried to explain the controls to you so that you wouldn't go in here, but now you're in here, so you have to do it. You get it. There you go. Face demons and cast them out with the space of the A button. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Oh, you don't have to be anywhere near that close. You can be like three or four character lengths this, away from the devil. We gonna, am I going to be listening to hymns? Is that what we're doing? Yeah, fuck it. I don't know. Oh, there you go. You did it. Because, I mean, yeah, we used to sing that every week. Really? Every Saturday. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, this is not a hymn. This is just the Moonlight Sonata. What's yeah. up, dear? What the F? Taking hard lefts. There's no investigate button. This game is retro as shit. It pretty much is. Oh my god, that deer got fucked up. Or is that a- no, that's a dead cat. Chaos Reds. I see. Someone killed a cat. That's horrible, and they killed it in the middle of a five-pointed area. It's almost like some kind of... pentagram -er. Pentagon? We should all fight in the Pentagon. Pentagram. Pentagram. No, no, instead of the Octagon? Holy shit. Well, my cross ain't gonna do much to that. I guess you gotta point it good. Holy shit! Off we fucking go! Yeah. There's in-road tracks to imply that a car has turned here before. Yeah. Alright, well that was up left, up left. Why don't you just go straight until the game stops you, I, I guess? Do, yeah, I was gonna do that. But Dude. boy, you gotta be on the fucking trigger with those D-buns. Yeah, just like, you know, path less travel. Oh look, it's a deer again. Hello, deer. Oh, fuck you. So he went that away. Could be up or could be right, but we'll never know. Anyway, I assume yes. It's safe to assume up, up, up is the oh, place. No. Oh, quick and ready! Oh, it hates it. Oh, you can just hold it. You can just hold it. You blessing that shit? Oh, you blessed it. Cool. Good job. You're, You're invited. <laughs> Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday. Directions: Turn right at thirteen thirty-eight Snake Meadow Hill Road and go straight past the well. Oh. That would imply that that is what actually brought you here. Yes, I'm here. You're invited to a birthday party. With demons. And clowns. Boy, I don't care for clowns, I'll tell you what. Demons, on the other hand. Ah, uh, they're cool. Some of them can be hot. Although, is that a human that's crawling on all hands and feet? Yeah, I don't Whereas... like that. Oh, I thought that was like a spider monster, the thing that attacked you. Oh, it a looked nice like house! It, had, it looked like it had four. It's locked. That voice, man. That's Stephen Hawking's voice. It really is. It's the same voice modulator. Oh, maybe I can go over here behind Shit's it. Shit's locked. Oh, you can. 
You know, I always wondered about Stephen Hawking's voice modulator because it's like he could have chosen other voices, right? Yeah, he could have. I guess or gotten just... like more, more like uh, realistic sounding ones over time. I guess his identity was just uh... wrapped up in it. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, think about the the like how incredibly uncomfortable it would be to change your voice to a robot voice under those circumstances, right? And now change that voice to a different robot voice. What up, dear? Hey there. Are you telling us the way to go, dear? I'm gonna assume so. It looks like he went down. Always be ready to be attacked by demons. Moonlight Sonata, huh? I can deal what with that. What the fuck is that? Is that jizz? Uh, hair? Could. <laughs> he sounded like. Oh. It sounded like it's who's saying, I have the body of. something. Maybe he's talking about Hey, look, it's a deer again. The body of Christ. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, like, it's super Catholic, so it... It's not really hit the same, uh... Doesn't do... Doesn't do much. Doesn't do much on that level. Eh, it's all the same to most of the audience. Because it's not, like, pastors and priests. Very different. Sure. And, uh... Whatever you say, buddy. I don't know. And, uh, a lot of the... Like, even, like, holding up a cross stuff, it's like, yeah, we didn't do that either. Does like, that not work? If you're no, seven day crosses, crosses don't mean anything, really. What? Uh, wait, wait. I was told that crosses mean a lot. I mean, the idea, the idea of physical objects having, like, power in that way is... This looks like the same screen. Yeah, those trees, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Seven Where trees. do you go, dears? Oh. Damn. Oh, back to the road. N with no car, I might add. Oh, oh, yeah. You ended up going... A full circle. Wait, so yeah. So now we know the, the extent of the map. It goes it goes in a circle. How bizarre. Get in your car and drive the I'm, fuck away, I'm, Padre. Wondering. No. Bless this this Honda Civic. No, come not quite. Yeah, um... Like, down to, like, what the... Ah, oh, uh, darn. Like, what they wear, and, uh... How they bless things, and what they do in the general, you know, general belief system is, uh... Mm -hmm. It just, yeah, it doesn't overlap that much. I and so. yet again... A d oh my oh. goodness. Oh! That was very bad. Okay, so Are you seeing what's happening with the trees here? Yeah, you're getting lost occasionally. Sometimes it just... This is actually just creating randomness. Yeah. That's what's happening. So, now we know. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, went after the deer! Yeah. If you, so if you get lucky... With the deer on the screen, it'll attack it'll that attack instead. It'll attack a deer instead. Thanks, deer. Oh, that's a funny looking tree. So I'll go back the way I went last time since I happened to cross that cat. That poor kitty cat. Um, we do definitely do the, uh... Gotcha, you bastard. <laughs> we do the, um... The communion. Yeah. So they do the whole, like, you Gotta know, eat Jesus. Yeah, you gotta eat Jesus. <laughs> oh, he did, really didn't like that. He was so upset. And, uh... I'm thinking, like... The ceremonial body of Christ and the blood, but... Oh, water. Water. I can bless, I can make some holy water. That. Yeah. Or to touch this it. water will not... Oh! Yeah, you got a ghost out of it. I caught some people walking through the woods around the house last week. Not kids, just regular adults. They told me they got lost while hiking. I pointed them back towards the road. The whole thing just didn't feel right. I think I should go dig up Bob's rifle out of storage. Hmm. Not the worst idea. I'm thinking, like, maybe you should hit the house and then go around the house at, like, the top part of the screen, maybe? But the trees were blocking it off there. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Well, regardless, you exercise two ghosts. Oh, there's that jizz you found earlier. Yeah, let's try blessing the yeah, jizz. Yeah, try blessing it. Yeah, you can bless it. We'll never find out what the fuck it is. Nice try, dipshit. Bob, the kid, whoa, the kids and I miss you more every day. The twins and Amy have started their next school year here at home. 
Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problems occupying their time. Yesterday, they came in with their hands covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I guess you didn't ask? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think we might have a coyote problem, because when I went out there to look at the dead deer, it was a pretty gruesome sight. All this just the day after the twins' birthday party. Can't wait till you get home. Uh-huh. Hmm. Shit seems cursed. Also, twins are not to be trusted. Always the fucking twins. Always, Always the, the twins. Fucking, just can't... Can't get a break from these fucking twins. Oh, oh wow, that's uh, we got a grave and we got a bust. Oh shit! It's gibberish. Yeah. All right, what's going on here? Interesting. No, no, doesn't look like it. What about that busted one? There's a darker light in the middle of the screen. Nailed it. Go home, ghost. Oh. Whoa. Mr. Martin, it has taken longer than expected registering the markers on your property as a historical cemetery. Our office has had difficulty identifying who was buried there. The inscriptions on the gravestones are written in a language that cannot identify. I've sent the gravestone rubbings to some of my peers in the University of Connecticut. I'll reach out to you when I get a response from them. All the best, Daryl Henderson, State of Connecticut Historical Society. Yeah. Fascinating. Um, so the other thing that, like... We definitely don't get into his like icons and iconography. Uh, can you bless the tree? Uh, maybe, maybe. Cool. Do you notice that the whole screen started to fall apart there? Yeah, and it also feels like it's getting faster and faster between attacks. Yes, it feels like each attack is coming a little bit faster. Today I noticed Amy's favorite tree looks like it's dying. All the needles are falling off, and the bark is bark is peeling. I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. She's totally absorbed in her volunteer work at the clinic. I guess it's good that she found something she's passionate about. But I've gotten ugly looks from some of the women of the book club. Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me anymore. Uh, well, um, it happens, man. Yeah, there's a, there's a thing about, um, like, 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 the believing, like, more a lot of Greek, Greek Orthodox believe in it, but it's like icons, like a thing that you can, like, you can bless, a, a bless. Yeah, <laughs> you can bless yeah, you an can. image, an image of a saint, and keeping that on your person is like a way to ward off like Bowsette evil things exactly like Bowsette keep a Bowsette on your person you'll ward off evil things and um you know it and that's like so many degrees of separation from what the bible actually says and, oh yeah and that, yeah that's absolutely coming in faster <laughs> it also got closer to you before it backed <laughs> off uh ooh. oh cabin the Martin's house lies about a hundred yards off of Snake Meadow Hill Road. There's almost no driveway. Trees jut out in the middle of a gravel path that is mostly covered in grass and was difficult to find uh, the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Alfred seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father Alfred explained that he would rather perform the exercise away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with the elements of the right that make seem harsh to the lay person. Exorcism, not exercise. Big eh. difference. Exercise is there? <gasps> the key! You see that? I seen it. Get you ready. <gasps> ah! Dumb shit. Hey, look at that! Motherfucker. So if you go left or right, I bet you'll hit the house. Whichever, man. Because it's all a loop, it's right? Looping. It's looping. Yeah. Though if he comes from the corner... Oh, 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 oh. Like I said. <laughs> I said, if he comes from the corner of the screen, I'm fucked. Because you don't get the, the reaction time on that. The opposite of crazy talk. You say something and then it just immediately happens. So you want to be in the center of the screen as often as possible. But you can only move so fucking fast. God damn. Gotta get those root. Whoa. Whoa! Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your care and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to dis- their home to discuss compensation and returns for their discretion. You will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome. Cardinal Gifford. Uh, so I'm guessing you're here to exercise that thing, Some but it's shit. a little too late. 
way too late. Oh, you gotcha. Damn. Yeah, that would be the thing. That would be the coyote problem. <laughs> Damn. Okay. So, the same thing, I'm pretty sure. It's, yeah. yeah, it's just... Yeah, you already did that one. So yeah. I'm just gonna keep going north, and I assume... You'll hit a wall or some shit at some point. There's... Whoa! Oh, that that's was getting... Yeah, it's the challenge. That was getting very fast. Reaction. See, why not just walk around with the cross up at all times? You know? Why not just cover your whole body in crosses? Hey, Helsing had the right idea. Yeah. See, that would be a ritual right there. Can you not? Uh, yeah, it doesn't. Can't bless the cat. Cat's fucked. Could be a squirrel. He bless. Oh, I was about to ask. Can you bless, bless the deer? The deer. Blessing a deer would be cool. I'm just waiting for the one where you're getting to. The I was facing the wrong way. We get to the top of the screen and it comes at you from the top of the screen. That's and the you one have I'm zero afraid of. Chance. Yeah, I, that's that's exactly what I'm afraid of. In fact, I'm gonna start doing this. Oh, shit. Okay. We got a more right. Make a couple more. Rounds. So you gotta switch sides every now and then if you're trying to find the house. I'm guessing. Fuck. Out of my fucking face, dear. Keep forgetting. Just keep it in the middle. All right, up, I guess. Yeah. Cause we gotta find that well. That's the only way to find the house. Hmm. Uh, a couple more norths, and if nothing, then we can just hit the road again. Yeah, the, the easiest solution, if you're super, super fucking lost, is to go as far down as you possibly can. Hit the road, walk. Hit the road, there. find the car, then walk straight up. I'd say so. I'd say so. Suffer. Fuck off. That was definitely shouting suffer. And now we're looping. Okay. Mm. One more north. And we'll see what we get. Can't bless those rocks, huh? Just stupid rocks. Uh, okay. Fuck. You're now back at the cabin. Fuck. You've done a... Full you've done the most fucked up circle ever. Yeah, alright. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> Honestly, if you're like a, any member of the church and you have a holy artifact, that a demon of that type just fucks off when it's- you. Oh! Season, <laughs> like that, feel pretty cool. It would, and it would again make me want to wear a hat with a giant cross on it. it reminds me of the uh, the bit in the the mummy, the first one, where the the skis bag guy gets attacked by Emotep after mm -hmm. everybody else gets eaten, mm -hmm. and he pulls out he pulls out a fucking cross and a Star of David, and like five other necklaces yeah, around just his in neck. Case. And he starts reciting every prayer he can fucking think of. One of them's gotta work. Why not? Yeah. it's. I mean, it's the scientific approach to, to dogma. To magic. That's oh, a, come on. Come on, that's a monster. Come on. Or a skeleton. You might want to... <laughs> Congrats. A stranger gave me an apple. You got an apple. This road is long. And the ro yeah, the road is long and you are weird. <gasps> God. God damn it. That can happen. And a cross ain't gonna save you then. No, it ain't. Alright. I demand that you stop. Oh, fuck. Let's try one more crack at that house. This time we're going left. Left might be good. Oh, there's the... Alright, yeah, yeah. This is the paper. Get that paper. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we got it. So, you might go left and then up, maybe? Let's find out. So I said the shack was, like, a certain distance from the house, right? It did. Fuck off, dear. In fact, we might have to go... Get eaten, dipshit. ...into the shack again and, uh, confirm those instructions. I believe might... those instructions are gone. You pick up the. Oh, I love that. Crux and Clavis. On Latin. Okay. Because, yeah, I think it might be. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, oh, you saw it. So it was left twice and up once. Yeah. 
Get inside this house. Is that a coat? What is that? It's a coat. Looks like a coat. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin had led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. Music stop. Sure did. Portrait. A portrait of what appears to be evil. No, it's a family. Uh. Oh! Evil. Space. Look at that evil child. <laughs> With the evil colors. Hmm. Probably le- better left off in pixel vague form. Is that a refrigerator? Fuck. Drawing? Yeah, it is. Nate. All right. Got it. Hmm. There's also a purple figure in here, by the way, through the window. It was not a regular figure. In the back door window? No, when you walked up to the house, looking at you through the window. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen it. Plant. No. That's a giant-ass rug with a giant-ass TV. Maybe bless the TV. No. No blessing TV today. No. No Peter Popoff. Okay. Mirror? mirror? You notice the mirror reflection is out of sync? Is it? Yeah. Use your use your cross, you'll notice it much more easily. It's absolutely out of sync. Yeah, slightly. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Upstairs. Mm-hmm. And there's also the basement from the kitchen. Wow, this being deadly silent is actually pretty creepy. Mm-hmm. Hello? Oh, an exercise bike. What a gigantic landing. Holy shit. That's crazy big, yeah. Doorway. No. Uh, some kind Rubber of... Rubber ducky? Rubber ducky. I don't feel safe anymore in my own home anymore. Fuck, I fucked that up. I hear voices outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid that's what's out there. Of what's out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm waking, walking through a carnival funhouse. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her, and I just don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day, and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Bob will know what to do. Bless that toilet. Bless that fucking toilet. Ah, No. No, No, holy shit. Stupid toilet. Thinks it's so good. Oh, the water, though. Yeah, that is one. Maybe. Holy lit. Holy it up. Nah. Nah. Doesn't appear to have anything to do with this case. All right, we got two things. A creepy doll and a note. Note to whoa. I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name and in other instances spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came. So I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I like the idea of exercisers, like exorcism priests, as like plumbers, but for demons. Yeah. Oh, you got a real bad one. Oh, boy. Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird-looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Anish about it next time at the book club. She looks like she could be from over there. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would have rather had a phone instead. Or maybe seeing the baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. Oh, yeah, you look like you're going to need a size 4 cross for that one. There's a big crawl. Boy, he's coming out of the eyes and all that. Fuck this. Uh, Fuck this whole room. Yeah. Don't care for this. No. Can I bless your toys? Bless the fucking game of Simon. How about the the Google Chrome? That's the game of Simon, dude. It's Google Chrome. 
You know it's a game of Simon Woolley. You know it. Look this map of the earth. No. I bless the rains down and uh... Get out of here. Get out. All right. Damn. To the basement or the attic, whichever. You think going upstairs and reading that note is a trigger of some kind? You know what? I don't know what I know. So there. But I do know there's another staircase right there. It'll probably lead to well, why can't a monster. I bless that Metroid ship sitting on the counter. I don't. All right, oh, there's blood. Oh yeah. Wait, what's this? What's this? It appears to be a cobweb. Spider. I'm gonna assume cobweb. That's a little dummy for how to put you. Some clue. kind of mannequin for your creepy sex purposes. Okay, but this is around the boxes. Can I get nah, it? Nah, I figured. No. Bless the sheets. Bless the baby. Oh, it's a crib of some kind. Dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brought my day to hearing from you. In your letter, you asked, what's the weirdest thing I've ever seen as a missionary? The area we were working in has a lot of folks who practice Quimbamba. It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. <laughs> One of the saints they worship is San La Muerte, or Saint Death. Yes, the Africans worship something in, in Spanish? In- is that Spanish or is that Latin? <sighs> Anyway, yesterday we talked to a boy about 15. Whenever, when we asked him if he had ever heard or prayed, if he had ever prayed, he said, no, but I have prayed to San La Muerte. He told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house, and according to him, they prayed to some figures of San La Muerte, and the figures made things in the house move around. He got quiet and scared looking after that. We told him that he could pray to God and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap up this letter and get back to work. See you in four months. Leighton. Are there any Spaniard conquered African countries? There's, They were all over the place doing all sorts of bullshit. Probably. I'm going to say probably. Because that, that would be the only way I could think of that being. Oh, you also got a creepy doll in here, too. Oh, and the sheet? It's the sheet? The sheet didn't bless. I tried to oh, bless. Oh, yeah? You sheet. tried to bless the sheet? I tried to bless Matt. Oh. He, he, did, he didn't, didn't take? Didn't take. Nah. All right. One of those is going to attack you. Well, wow. that is Pat's feeling on the situation. They all have they all have the wooden feet, though. You know, really, that thing didn't bless the the didn't bless to see the the singer. Huh. Weird. It doesn't even have to attack. All they have to do is move a little bit, and then it'll freak your shit. No, no, nothing. Huh? Check your corners. All right. Uh huh. Let's take a look at that note, huh? Ooh. Hey. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the riot for long. Miss Martin, Mrs. Martin was hysterical, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of the fear. Father Alfred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up in the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, "Mother, mother!" the whole time. Finally, got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes. We couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went to check on things. I found Father Alfred lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Brut row. Brut row, indeed. Oh. Okay. Huh? Cool. Oh. That's awesome! Whoa. What a good use of this animation style! <laughs> what? Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I held her in place, but she surrounded me and I couldn't move. So I think that what that is is when she flashes, you have that one second to get away. That's a very different type. So that's fake. All right. I'm glad we got to the part where the fucking animation just kicks it up a notch. You, this you, game is fascinating. You, you gotta have it. You gotta have faith. You did it, Wooly.